We just got a massive leak from Apple that revealed a list of chip identifiers for every single Apple Silicon chip expected to be released this year, which basically tells us everything we need to expect from Apple in terms of their products this year, with some huge revelations that don't seem to make any sense. So in this video, I'm gonna explain the new details of 11 new products coming this year in order from the oldest chip to the newest one. Let's start off with product number one, which is apparently coming with the oldest chip from this report, the A14 Bionic, which doesn't make any sense at all in 2024, but check this out. We recently got leaks of Apple working on a weird new HomePod device that would have a display built into it as a new way to control your smart home or just simply make better use out of a HomePod and make it easy to control your music and more. However, the problem is that Mark Gurman recently said that this new iPad-like display HomePod device isn't coming until 2025 at the earliest. So what in the world could this new unreleased device with an A14 chip be? Well, it looks like it could actually just be the 11th gen budget iPad. And if that's true, you're probably gonna be super disappointed to be getting the same chip again, since the current iPad 10 already has the A14. But believe it or not, this is actually not the first time Apple did this to the budget iPad. The iPad 7 came with the same A10 chip as the iPad 6, instead relying on a new larger display, the smart connector, and Apple Pencil support. So Apple could very well give us the iPad 11 with the same A14 chip later this year in September, pushing people to buy the more expensive iPad models instead, like product number two, the iPad mini. In probably the best news yet, the A17 Pro chip identifier showed up, pointing to the likely chance that this new iPad mini is getting the A17 Pro instead of the A16 like everybody was predicting. This actually makes a ton of sense because way back in 2019, Apple released the iPad mini 5 and gave it the A12 chip just a few months after the iPhone XS came with the same A12 chip. So with that said, we're likely gonna have the iPad mini 7 coming before the new iPhones, maybe in May or June with the A17 Pro. Now moving on to the third and fourth products on this list, they're actually rumored to come with the M2 chip, which doesn't seem to make sense right now because Apple has already revealed the M3 way back in October. Well, as it turns out, we've been getting a ton of leaks for the iPad Air coming this month, with tons of leaks including CAD files for a completely new size, for the first time, a 12.9 inch iPad Air model, alongside a new version of the 10.9 inch iPad Air. And since the current iPad Air that we have now comes with the M1 chip, it only makes sense for the new one to get the M2, so that Apple can make sure that it's going to be slightly worse than the new iPad Pro, which always gets the latest chip. But other than the new chip, I'm not expecting any other changes for the iPad Air, with Apple mostly focusing on that new 12.9 in size, and I think it's gonna be priced at $800, which is a really good value. Now, while the M3 chip wasn't mentioned in this new chip leak, we do for a fact know that we're getting three M3 powered products this month at Apple's March event. But before we get into that, need to break a bad habit, check this out from our sponsor, Fume which is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that removes the bad from your habit. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors, which makes replacing your bad habit easy with an adjustable airflow dial and movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, helping you de-stress while breaking your habit. And so far, I've been loving my fume. So try fume today by heading to tryfume.com slash maxtech or scan the QR code and use code maxtech for 10% off the journey pack of natural flavors today. That's tryfum.com and use code maxtech. Now getting back to those three M3 chip products, the first one is gonna be the Mac mini because the current one we have now is still using the M2 chip, even though the M3 has already been revealed back in October. For this new Mac mini, model, we're not expecting anything new at all 
other than that new chip, so we can expect the price to stay the same as before. Now for product number six and seven, we have both the new 13 and 15 inch MacBook Air models, which are also gonna be getting the new M3 chip. And as far as the leaks, we're not expecting anything new or groundbreaking at all. Once again, just the chip swap for likely the same prices as before, maybe with a couple of spec upgrades, but that's really it. Now onto product number eight and nine, we have the new 11 and 13 inch M3 iPad Pro models coming next month. But oddly, the new leak for some reason references a completely new M4 chip coming into these iPad Pros, which doesn't make any sense at all. So I guess I'm just gonna ignore that and assume it's gonna come with the M3, both priced at $1,000 for the smaller model and $1,200 for the larger one. But the main new feature of these new iPad Pros is actually gonna be the super thin design only being 5.0 millimeters thin, which is thinner than basically every Apple device out there, and the new hybrid dual stacked panel OLED displays, which are gonna be the best tablet displays in the world, no longer having the halo effect issues from the current mini LED display. And finally, let's finish off with products number 10 and 11, which are of course the lower end iPhone 16 models and the iPhone 16 Pro models. But the really weird thing about the recent chip leak is that apparently all four iPhone models will come with the same exact A18 chip according to the CPID model identifiers. Well, my prediction is that they literally will be the same chip, especially since we got the leak that all iPhone 16 models will come with the same eight gigabytes of RAM. So my take is that the new A18 chip will finally get upgraded to six efficiency cores from four just like the M3 Pro chip, which oddly came with six E cores. But what Apple will do with the A18 is the same thing they've been doing with their Mac chips. They'll use chip binning to disable cores that have issues or flaws, improving their yields and allowing them to use chips they would have otherwise thrown away. Perfectly built chips will be branded as the A18 Pro, coming with the full six E cores, the full six GPU cores, and whatever other exclusive models they want enabled. But chips with flaws will be rebranded the regular A18 chip for the cheaper models with only four or five E cores enabled and only five GPU cores enabled. And of course, those iPhones are coming in September for likely the same prices as we have right now. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, click that circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. Check out one of those two right there. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.